It's incredible. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's, it's unbelievable. I, I don't even know how to describe it. That room, this didn't happen immediately, but when we came out... No, it was a strong, strong cold of air that hit the back of my hand, like a wind. And that's all? Is that an intake like or this output? At all. I don't like this at all. Everybody loves a good ghost story. But did you know there's a place in Las Vegas where you can actually be part of one? I'm here outside of Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum, where it said the artifacts inside are vessels for contacting spirits. But to be honest, I'm a bit skeptical of this place truly being haunted. And that's why I'm here today, to find out if the paranormal actually exists. I'm Roberto Rad, and guess what, Vegas? We're gonna go inside and find out the mystery of the paranormal, and if it exists. Let's go! Here we go. Someone, somebody take this, please. Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. Yes. Thank you. Every item within this museum, while not necessarily haunted, is unique. This is a lifetime of collection that you're seeing before you. Okay. Zach has spent his entire life bringing all these pieces together in what he calls his nuclear reactor of spiritual activity. Okay, so uh, what, uh, do I need to know anything before I go, before I walk through, or what's the... Uh... Be open to experiences. Okay. Keep yourself ready and focused. Okay. Be respectful of the objects. Yes, of course. I'm very respectful. And enjoy your experience. No touching anything, right? Not advisable. No touching. No touching. Okay. All right. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. I'll show you a special room. Yeah. This is a Zach only area. It just started doing this. Are you being serious? It just don't started doing this. I don't know what's going on. We turn on and now it's, uh, now it's just flickering. It's, okay, because <laughs> <laughs> that's not cool at all. Yeah. Okay. No. All right. I'm, I'm just so done. Oh, but see, as soon as you leave, light came back on. Okay. Okay. That's. I don't even. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. Oh, we've started. <laughs> House knows we've started. Live forever. I'll get out. I'll get out. Pull out, Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi's haunted mirror. You, of course, are familiar with Bella Lugosi. Of course, famous Bella's for playing fine. Dracula. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Bella was into the occult, and he okay. used to scry with that mirror, which means using it to call upon the forces that lie beyond. Are you ready to gaze into the haunted mirror of Bella? I'm going to gaze into, into this. You may word. scry. Sc the word scry. I scry all the time, but without the s. Okay. I mean, it's supposed to be this dark. It feels like there's kind of like a dark. Okay, I actually don't, I actually feel, all joking aside, I feel a little lightheaded and I, that's messed up. All right, I'm out of this room right now. I don't, I don't even, I don't even really, I didn't think coming in today that I would actually get affected. I thought I would actually have to sort of uh, ham it up or make things up. I actually felt lightheaded. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. And it's actually legitimately tripping me out right now. And I'm like, I'm not actually comfortable about it. <laughs> we still have like a bunch more stuff to shoot. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand up. All right. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Hey. seance area. Wow.
We've arrived in the antechamber of the Dybbuk box. What lies just beyond this door, arguably the most haunted object in the entire world. The Dybbuk box. The story goes that the Dybbuk box, which is an old Jewish wine cabinet, was used in a ritual to seal inside of it a demon or a keslam or Dybbuk. It has passed through several hands. Every one of those hands has been touched in some haunted way. Okay. So if you're ready, we can go inside. Are you ready? 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 Are you, this is okay, it's really bright. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty heavy. Oh wow, this is a, you're not joking about this. Okay. Okay, this is a very unsettling room. Okay, uh, so what is that? This is a uh, kosher salt and a ring of sage. Sage. Okay, so why the in sage? In an effort and why to the contain salt? the dimmick itself, wow. the spirit that is contained, trapped inside. Wow. This is the offering box for the dimmick room. If guests feel the desire to do yeah. so, they may leave something of value. It can be a piece of money. It can be a piece of hair. A hair. Hey, no, 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 don't ever touch the actual hair. Sorry. Grab an eyebrow or something. Okay, oh, that really hurt. <laughs> Don't lose it. Oh, is that is that too much? Half of your oh my god! No, you're good. What did you do you're to good. my shirt? Sure that's okay? good. That's good. Make okay. A good significant donation okay. there. Clearly, you Here value that eyebrow. Okay. I'm getting bad vibes, but mostly from Caitlin tweezing the hell out of my eyebrow. So, I'm here with Zach Bacon's here of Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. Now, I just want to before we go into this amazing room, which I'm very very, very excited about and also kind of freaked out. I want to tell you a little bit about a couple of my experiences today in the uh, Bella Lugosi mirror. I looked at it, I actually felt lightheaded and a real tightness in my chest yeah. and I actually had to walk away. How and long did you look into it for? A good amount of time. Mm -hmm. I, like, I actually felt a real lightheadedness. Because I've seen a man look into that mirror and literally collapse unconscious and hit his head on the wooden floor. And then when he collapsed unconscious, his girlfriend had a huge red, it wasn't a scratch, it was like a huge red mark on her neck. And my camera guy received multiple scratches going down his neck and down his back. And that, to me, is incredible. That's but insane. I've seen too many people like you that are skeptics or whatever, and we all, we all need to see it. We all wanna yeah. experience it no. to believe it. I have to tell you what it does to the living okay. for liability reasons. And you have to understand it before going in. Okay, and we're talking about Peggy here. We're this talking about Peggy the doll. Okay. This doll had a lot of claims to it that I didn't believe in. Right. Okay, oh, a doll's online and you just look at the video and you have a heart attack. Right. I mean, what, what kind of... Yeah, YouTube what, videos, that was... A, yeah, was well, a, what is this all about? Yeah. So I flew her here, we interviewed her here, yeah. and I interviewed the woman who suffered a very real heart attack within seconds of looking at Peggy in the eye. And we've had nosebleeds in here, yeah. all kinds of weird phenomena, but this kind of stuff, I do have to tell you what you're walking into because you, if you do have an underlying heart condition or something, yeah. and I didn't tell you this, then that's not then that's not good. That's, you know, it, <laughs> actually, I'm a little nervous about going in there because uh, the second thing that I, that I uh, haven't told you yet is when we came out of, out of that room, and this didn't happen immediately, but oh. when we came out. out of that room, and this didn't happen immediately, but oh, when we came out. Did you feel that? But oh, when we came did out. Did you feel that? That air vent's off. That was, was that cool. a wave of air? No, it was a strong, strong cold of air that hit the back of my hand, like a wind. And I just checked this air vent, and that's off. Is that an intake like or this output? At all. I don't like this at all. No, that was cool. That was really cool. It was just a strong gust of wind, like ice cold wind, and now I'm all chilled up. Just keep your head in there for a second. I just wanna see if you're feeling what I'm feeling. But I do feel a gust. Yeah, but ice cold. Yeah. Do you feel it? Like you're sticking no. your hand into a freezer, but it's moving from here to here. Sorry to interrupt you. I no, 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 I'm actually feeling it. 
I definitely feel something here. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. I just uh, whenever anything happens, I gotta no. stop and like. How? See if, I mean, how I always I, want somebody else to experience it. <laughs> okay, it's time for Peggy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of, Are you kind sure of damn nervous. Good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You ready? I guess. And it's up to you whether you want to look at her in her eyes or not. Cause okay. Because that seems to be the trigger. Is to look her directly in the eyes. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready to go? Hi, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Peggy, I'm going to bring in some, some crews here. They're, they have cameras. They have video cameras. Where's, uh, where's Rose? It just seems like your crew doesn't want to come in. Peggy, I'm going to introduce you to a friend. Okay. Why don't you come up here? Okay. Behind All right. the gate. Now I'm absolutely terrified. And look, because you've already been around the Dybbuk box, right. because you've already looked into the mirror, yeah. I think that you should stand directly in front of her and look at her in the eyes. And I'm not telling you. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> since you've already done the other two, and I don't ever let people back into this close proximity of her. Yeah, okay. But Let's go. if you do that, I kind of would want you to do it by yourself. By myself, by myself? Staring at her. Okay. Do you want to do that? Let's do it. But will you stare at her for a little while? Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to tell you to do that. Do you want to? I want to. Here we go. Okay. You good? Yep. Huh. Actually, <laughs> I actually feel really sad all of a sudden. I don't you know. know. What? I feel really sad. <sighs> sad? Yeah, I was feeling very hot. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to open my, my heart and, and look directly into her. And at first I was just like, okay, this is, this is, this is, this is bull. And I'm looking and now I'm. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually feel really, really warm, like extremely hot. And ah, uh, uh, yeah. What are you? What are you feeling? Like what is? I just feel like almost like a, like a like a hot flash, and that kind of confused me for a moment, and I started to to. I just started feeling very warm all of a sudden. Yeah, your eyes were like real when you came out. You were like this. Yeah, and and all like like a wave just hit me of just sadness. Did you see any flash images, or did you have any visions of of anything at all when you were looking into her? Or was it just sadness? No, it was just it was just sadness and and the and the and the and the warmth. It was warmth so is and sadness. Is this weird for you? Does this, this is ex this is extremely weird for me. This is beyond weird for me. I I, I looked at it and I I was like okay, but I was like. I don't want to get any hard things. I'm not going to get a hard thing. And then that sort of went away. It's weird how you got the, the sadness. Like yeah. you were even teary eyed when yeah. you came out here. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was, that was real. That was, that was like instant sadness out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. To me, the most rewarding part about this museum is seeing things like this, is seeing people that I've really never met before, but I know your thoughts on the paranormal. I know you're skeptical, but to observe your reactions to them. And that, to me, is the most fascinating part about the Haunted Museum and all of these artifacts. Yeah. Peggy, let's just close this. It's yeah, kind of like closing close? an Ouija board session. Do I have to say thank you to her or something? Or That's something that you do by yourself. Okay. And if you will, go in there okay. and, and share the experience and ask her to please stay here. Okay. And uh, you respect that experience. Okay. Uh, Peggy, please stay here. I just want to say thank you. And I'm not looking you in the eyes anymore. And wish you absolutely the best. Thank you so much. Bye, Peggy. Thank you.